Rangers podcast. The big one I want to talk to you is about movie making and filmmaking, and uh, you start dabbling around with that. How long ago now? Uh, the film stuff, maybe. Well, it's, that's a complicated one. I've always done like a little bit of video editing, but nothing with like proper software or anything right, right, like right. that. You know, it's just been. Uh, I used some free software that is mm. was pretty shit at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just to make like highlight video clips of the fighters and fight team and stuff. But uh, started getting into it properly maybe year and a half ago. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Year and a half. So that's been intense year and a half. Yeah. Because like I'm I'm following your social media and I can see like you you've been doing a lot of stuff. <coughs> And then, um, so then there was some kind of attraction to the the whole movie stuff a while ago, but you never really kind of thought that you're gonna do it. No, I, yeah, I never thought of like doing the the visual effects or mm-hmm. anything like that. It was just uh, I I actually did want to be a stuntman at one stage. Oh shit! Yeah. What happened? Why why you didn't do it? Uh, I just don't think I found the opportunities. I didn't chase right right chase right. that because obviously way, also. Cause in Perth, it would, you wouldn't have many opportunities. I don't you think need so. to go to what either Sydney or yeah, yeah, I would have to Melbourne. go over east. Yeah. Um, and then, and I, I was also fighting at the time. I had mm. my business at Brick Lane and all that, so I was like quite busy. Mm-mm-mm-mm. You know, where you fall into that that thing of going, oh well, I don't really have time to go right, do right, that right. stuff. Uh, but yeah, I always loved acting and Mm-mm. fight fighting, like play fighting and mm. and dying lots mm. as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> what did you like to do as a kid? I like to die. I like to die. I'm gonna show you this one way I can die, <laughs> man. It's the best way to die ever. <laughs> <laughs> me, me and my friend when we were, I think we were like 12 years old, and we used to love Blade. Yeah, so yeah. We, Fuck who we, didn't? Yeah, so we'd pretend we were fighting vampires all the time, and we'd get beaten up, and I'd like do flips and fall on the floor and all that sort right, of stuff. Right, so. right. The movies did some crazy shit with us mm. as a kids. How did it all start? And you just kind of like, okay, I will try. Was there like you said, like you like the project? So was there like opportunity for a project? Um, no, not to start with. To start with, I I got uh, After Effects, mm-hmm. which was the VFX sort of stuff uh, through Adobe. I already had Adobe from Photoshop. So yeah. I used to do a lot of movie posters and stuff like that. And then uh, I just started following some tutorials on, on After Effects and and then I would try to do my own things, but I didn't have much of an imagination. So yeah, <laughs> it was hard. It's hard like, oh, even, even if with an imagination, I have all these things I want to make, but I either don't have the time or I don't have the money. Mm-hmm. And then... Uh, the good thing about having projects from other people is they're spending the money and right, right, right. And then uh, it allows me to have the time to go do it. And they've also got the imagination. So it's like, yeah, you know, it's, well, yeah, that's the, I think that's probably the best way. So they pay you maybe not a lot of money, but some money, some money so it yeah. covers and you have a little bit of motivation. Yeah. You have a deadline and all these kind of things instead of you just sit and probably how many different projects you can come up with and, and you never really finish them. And yeah. There's no incentives and no reason for it to finish them. Yeah, just, exactly. Just Unless it's just for like your own portfolio yeah. to build. But but even then it's like you need to buy assets. You need to obviously spend time on it. So Come a bit closer. You're really flying around. I'm there. really <laughs> flying around. <laughs> Ryan, podcast properly. Hey. Um, yeah, like... Yeah, buy assets, you need to take time off of work or whatever it is, so you're losing money there to do yeah. these projects. Uh, so, yeah, it really benefits if you've got somebody who is willing to pay you, obviously not the top dollar because you're not the that, top guy, the top guy, you know. <laughs> so, But you can produce something, you just need the project and people to pay for some assets so that you can put all those skills to the yeah. test. But um, you had some some interesting thing going on for what for about how long it took you to finish your project, your short movie, which was released, um, what, two, three weeks? Two, th- three weeks ago, three maybe? Three weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah, congratulations <laughs> on that. Thank you. Hey. Um, and um, just, you know, I, I watched the video. <laughs> Someone who works in the you know, film industry only sees the big movies and whatever. Obviously, I can say, like, yeah, there's a lot, you know, there's a lot of stuff to work on and whatever. Yeah. But... In the same time, thinking about like your budget, 
your like all the all the things what you had. Yeah, um, yeah. I love it that you basically there's like you guys coupled up. So it was like Anthony with his girlfriend or yeah. with his <laughs> wife, and you with your fiance, and it's like here you go. That's uh, pretty much our crew. That's our crew. Yeah, <laughs> and um, so yeah. So tell me about how it all started when. I'm guessing quite a long time you already had the idea and then obviously I, I had a rough idea I was like mm. oh I just wanted I wanted to film because I wanted to practice my filming skills as well yeah. um, but I wanted to film a fight scene with some VFX and uh, I had no idea what sort of VFX I just knew I wanted to do some fight choreography fight scene and add some sort of ma maybe magical effect or, or like a lightsaber fight with some yeah. Star Wars and stuff like that and then I was like you know what I'm somebody who I can't do small. I'm just like, <laughs> can't do small. I can't do small. It's what? like, you know what? This so is modest. Be, I love it. <laughs> let's, how far can I actually push, push it? How far can I, how long can I make it? How big can I make it? Um, and what can we do? And I was like, oh, well, I got no actors. I got no money. I got, I got no, I don't have the right equipment. I'm like, okay, so let's do a fundraiser, get some money. <laughs> and then I obviously, I, I didn't make even the fundraising amount of money that I wanted, yeah. which still wouldn't have covered it. Um, but then my fiance, Christy, jumped in. Anthony and his wife jumped in as actors. And uh, I had a friend who does sound design. So he did all the, the mic stuff and, mm -hmm. and the sound, uh, which was yeah, great. Yeah, shout out to Anthony. Yeah, obviously, all the rest of people, but Anthony was on this podcast as well. So Ooh. yeah, we have. Make a sure you watch that one. Nice little chat. Uh, he's he's an interesting dude. Yeah, I really enjoyed talking to him, and uh, yeah, it was great for me to see that like you know people are involved and everything happens. I kind of like in the very beginning. So spoil? Can we do spoiler yeah, alert? Indie spoiler. Yeah. Um, I just like in the beginning that I did not buy a second that those were two lesbian lovers. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. Is it because, cause I know that's Anthony's uh, wife. Is it, but it was just like, oh honey, um, I don't know. <laughs> and then when your fiance, Chris, she was like practicing that, like what she's going to say, whether she was holding the ring. I was like, oh. <laughs> But I, uh, it was cute though it was cute I mean <laughs> yeah there was a lot of things like because the script was I wrote the script and it was just it, it was literally written on a document in like a paragraph of how the whole film was going to go yeah you should start with it was written on napkin on it was written paper. on a napkin <laughs> and uh, and it was a bit wet and people couldn't really read it and then we just went from there <laughs> um, but like after filming uh, the first part of all of that I really wanted to refilm and and change mm. a lot of things but people had the haircut and all this sort of stuff and people didn't want to do it because we spent a lot of time doing it and that so we just did what we yeah had, you know exactly um, it, it'd be it would like in hindsight or oh, everything's always better in hindsight mm -hmm. but uh i would have put a lot more time into the script a lot more time into how we could have set it up better. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah no, it's always, this is the thing, like, I, 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 I'm pissed off with myself sometimes. Like, I just love to look at the negatives instead of actually the, consider the positives, that everything was being achieved. And I do the same. Yeah. You know? Like, and it's, it's just, it's not, it's not a very good trait, especially when, like, in a sense, like, for us to get better, we need to practice. You yeah. know, like, just like I started this podcast, you know, how, what did I start it with? Like, I had shitty cameras, I had shitty this, I didn't know what I'm talking about, and it was not good. The only way to get better is just to do it again and again and again and again. Yeah. And, like, yeah. now even, like, for for the next project, you're going to be so much more aware of what you need. So much more aware. Definitely need more money. Definitely need more <laughs> get money. Get proper actors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, snap. <laughs> yeah. Um, I... I, I'm the same. I, I just look at the negatives. I'm like, oh, you know, I could have done this better. I could have done that better. Um, and even with other people who are in the film industry, who are filmmakers, who have made like feature films and mm. Netflix films and stuff like that, they've all praised me on going, you got something out. Yeah, 100%. You totally know, agree. It doesn't matter that it, it's not amazing or mm. great or, you know, that high, high level that you're looking for. You got something out. Yeah, I had yeah. one, one of Christie's friends. He's a filmmaker from Australia made some feature films and, and some other films and stuff. And he, he said to me, he goes, I still got friends from film school who are still talking about doing that first project. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. You know, it's been 10 years. 
Oh yeah, thank you. Blah blah blah. Bruno's podcast.